Hi there, Stan the Annuity Man, America's annuity agent, licensed in all 50 states, including the one that you're sitting in, that beautiful state. I love it. Yes, I've been to all 50 states, man. What a country, huh? We're talking about today how to buy an annuity. Bring your spouse to the call. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Bring your spouse to the call. Uh, hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. I'm from the South. Bring your spouse to the call. You need to bring your spouse to the call. You need to get them on the call with you, with Stan the Annuity Man, because I'm betting they're going to live longer than you. The Grim Reaper. Yes, could be true. And you do want them to understand what you're thinking about when it comes to annuities. So bring your spouse to the call, y'all. We're going to dig deeper after this. <laughs> Now, this is a great story. Somebody scheduled a call with me. You can go to my site at theannuityman.com and schedule a call. They scheduled the call. And a lot of times this happens, but this was specifically hilarious. So we get on the call and the gentleman says, um, Stan, I, I'm going to put you on speaker uh, and my wife's going to join us. And I'm like, hey, great. That's fantastic. And so she gets on the call and we talk about, um, you know, their life and what they've done and the money they have and what they're trying to do. I'll ask them the two questions. What do you want the money to contractually do? And when do you want those contractual guarantees to start? We had a very good conversation of what they're trying to achieve. And I said, great, let me, let me work on a customized plan, which I always do. And I, you know, I emailed them the customized plan. And about two or three days later, the, uh, the gentleman shot me an email back and says, we're ready to move forward with that recommendation that, that you sent to us. And that's typically how it works, by the way. We don't pester you or pound you in the table or no one shows up at your doorstep and no one calls you into the, you know, beats you up on the phone. But he said, Stan, I've got to, sh I've got to share this with you. And it was a pretty long email. And he said, when I told my wife we were going to be on the call with you, she watched some of your videos. Um, and she came back and goes, man, that guy is, that guy is wild. That guy is crazy. I'm not sure, I'm not sure about him. You know, just because I'm, I'm, you know, I don't know if you know that I'm, I'm a little energetic, all right? I'm a little out there. I'm passionate about annuities of all things. I wear this, all this gear and this baseball hat, and I don't have the, the suit and tie and all that stuff like I used to wear when I was with Morgan Stanley, Dean Witterpain, wherever in UBS, man, I was a sharp player. I had the tie, I had the suit, I was, I was crisp, as they say. But when I left that to become the mythical Stan the Annuity Man, I'm like, no, no, no. I'm wearing sweats. I'm wearing track suits. I'm wearing Stan the Annuity Man tennis shoes. I'm wearing t-shirts with Stan the Annuity Man logo, and I'm wearing a baseball cap, even though I'm not bald. That's a big question that's out there. Is he bald? Is that the I might be in the future, but right now, no. I got lots of hair. But, the, but what he said was his wife changed after talking to me because I was so factual, and I was listening, and I was asking the questions. She goes, he wasn't what I thought he was, because I, I watched the videos, and and it was just it was a it was just a lot, and that might be you. Okay, I encourage you to bring your spouse on the call with you because if you die, they're going to have to be dealing with me and my team, and they have to understand that I'm brutally factual. I'm not some warm fuzzy spot. I'm not going to show you pictures of my kids and grandkids. I'm not going to talk about good old state you and how they did in the football game last week. I don't give a crap about any of that. I give a crap about you and your money and your goals and how you scrimped and saved and planned and checked the boxes to get to this point where we're on a call together with me, you, and your spouse, and we're talking about putting together a contractually guaranteed portfolio for either lifetime income or, or principal protection or legacy or long-term care. That's what I'm talking about. There's no warm and fuzzy stuff. I could do that. I'm from the South. I can do small talk until the cows come home. But when we're talking about money, I'm not your friend. I'm the best advisor you've ever had because I'm going to be brutally factual. And for your spouse, they don't need another friend. They need a person that's going to shoot it straight with them. They need to know that that organization is on their side, that they're going to be there if needed. Your spouse needs to know if you pass away, she can or he can pick up that phone and call the annuity man and know that we're going to take care of them, and know that we're going to be compassionate, and we're going to listen to them, and we're going to do exactly what they say. So that's the reason you have to bring your spouse to the call.
I promise to be nice. I, I always joke when they, well, my wife or my husband's on the line, regardless of who's kind of leading that to financial uh, thought, and I'll say, okay, I promise not to cuss. <laughs> because there are times, I know, when I get heated that, you know, I throw a little southernism here and there, but I'll be on my best behavior. I promise you that. And I promise to talk to both of you and ask both of you questions. I want to hear from both of you because there might be something your spouse has in the back of their head from a question standpoint that you haven't thought of or that you're not wanting to ask. I need you to be a part of it together. Why? Because you've been part of the process together. You saved together. You've raised the kids together. You're in chapter two of your life together. Right? So they need to be on the call. That's part of the annuity buying process with theannuityman.com. We want to know that spouse. We want that spouse to be on that call. So if you're scheduling a call, I encourage you to put them on that call as well. It'll be worth your time. It'll be worth their time. And I'll thank you for it. Here's another thing that you need to consider. I want you to think about it. You've been, you've been managing the money for the family for a long, long time. Okay, You have been the impetus for the decisions. You've worked with the brokers and the masters of the universe, and now you're working with me. And you're looking into annuities, and you've got these plans and spreadsheets, and you've really done a good job. Okay, But guess what? You need to make sure that your spouse fully understands the plan, fully understands what you have. They don't need to know the inner workings of you know, a, an immediate annuity based on lifetime income and, the, and mortality credits, et cetera, but they need to know that it's in place so that it's going to pay joint lifetime income and so that when you pass away, the income is continued uninterrupted and unchanged so your spouse can go see the kids and the grandkids. They need to know that. They need to know those plans. If you haven't included them in these things, this is the time to start. Okay, and especially if it's a joint life setup, if you're setting up a joint payout or a, or a joint ownership of a MIGA or a joint ownership of an index annuity with an income rider or something like that, you need to have them at the table. You need to have them on the call. And they will have to be on the application call if we go forward in a joint life, joint annuitant standpoint. Okay, so why not get them on the call as we're talking about it? You know, and I encourage you to do that if you have non-annuity assets with, you know, the master of the universe down the road in the, in the marble building. Do that as well. But that, your spouse needs to be a part of the annuity discussion. They need to flip through my MIGA and SPIA and DIA and QLAC and Income Rider Owner's Manuals. They need to watch some of these videos. They need to listen to a podcast or two to get a flavor of the direction and the cadence and how we handle things. It's very important. I'm not, I, I apologize if you feel like I'm preaching to you, but in the back of your mind, you know I'm right. It's time. You're at the chapter two of your life, and chapter two of your life is now getting everything in order so that if something happens to you, your spouse fully understands how things are gonna work, how the income is gonna continue, how things are set up from a principal protection standpoint, et cetera. I encourage you to do that, especially as part of our how to buy an annuity process. Last week, I got a call from a, a lady that called me, and she was, she was crying. And she said that her husband had passed away. Ironically, his name was Dan, and my name is Stan, and I, I knew him very well. And I had met him in a couple places that I spoke. I used to go on, this, on the circuit, on the financial circuit, and do these huge speeches, etc. And I met him there, and he was, he was, a, good, he was a good man. And he had passed away unexpect unexpectedly. But the cool part about the process was she had been on all those calls. And she, had, she knew me, she had met me, and she called me, and we took care of everything. And she was very appreciative of the seamlessness of what we did for her. But this was a great real-life example of her being part of the process, and she knew who to call, and she knew you know, that we would be there for her. I just want you to think about that. Don't want to be the Grim Reaper here. But hey, as part of the buying process, you need to set things up for your spouse so that they understand everything as well. Hey, do me a favor. Put some comments in here. Don't be afraid to contact me. My email is stan at theannuityman.com, stan at theannuityman.com. You can always call me or schedule a call. And do me a favor, click the subscribe button below, and I'll see you 
on the next Stan the Annuity Man YouTube video. 